Hey guys, welcome back. I'm King of Do, and I'm going to be doing a quick market update for you, uh, specifically on Ethereum right now, since that's the one that all of you probably own and have the most questions about. Right now, you can see on my screen, I'm actually looking at the all time chart uh, for Ethereum versus Bitcoin. Now, it's really important, guys, that you understand that you need to be looking um, at the charts against Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin is the currency of cryptocurrency. It's what you, everything is pegged against. Um, it is the true representation of the market's ebb and flows. Um, USD to Ethereum or USD to BTC, uh, when you're doing that on GDAX, things like that, it's more of a rev representation of uh, short-term uh, uh, money entering or exiting the market. So. Oftentimes it can be an indicator, but um, when we're talking about long term and where we're headed as uh, as a as a cryptocurrency community industry, whatever you want to call it, um, economy is the right word. Um, it's very important that you guys are looking at your charts using Bitcoin. You get used to that. It's really hard. I I, I know it is um, to start training your mind to calculate Bitcoin off off the top of your head um, and uh, you'll be surprised uh, you just, it's just kinda like you train your brain and then after about a month um, it just kinda starts spitting out the numbers uh, much much easier for you and you're like oh okay uh, 0.1 Bitcoin is this much and you just kinda do the math real quick so anyhow uh, here we're looking at Ethereum and you can see in the all time that we've actually it's very very clear this downward trend that we have right now against Bitcoin uh, we rallied up to an all-time high, and what happened during that rally is we really broke away from uh, being pegged to Bitcoin. Uh, traditionally, um, for a long time, it was uh, when Bitcoin went up, Ethereum went up, and vice versa, you know, going up and down, they followed each other. Well, that changed this last week to where Ethereum got a mind of its own, um, and it kind of is getting a little haywire, so things are very, very interesting now. Um, let me zoom this in for you here and we'll just go ahead and look at the last month it'll take a minute to do it because I am looking at the five minute candles and Polynex um, as you know has horrible processing power well it's actually really good it's just they have too many people on their site alright so you can see here that we're in this downward trend it's very very clear uh, our upward trend is inverted officially and we're moving downward um, Soon it'll level out and we'll start consolidating somewhere. But this has been a grind downward. Um, many of you may have already uh, sold your Ethereum and been holding Bitcoin while this is happening. Um, and if you did, that's that's great because you're going to be able to enter back in um, to the markets when it starts consolidating and you will own more Ether. I know that many people believe they want to have more Ether than Bitcoin. Um, and so if that is your goal to maximize your ether position, uh, you know, hopefully you're in that position. If you're not, I would say that at this point, just kind of hold on. Um, you know, this, this might be, uh, kind of news to you if you're looking at your local currency, um, versus Ethereum. Um, so like, uh, USD is roughly about 222, 223 right now. Um, but it's been that for a long time. It's been, uh, even though it's going down versus Bitcoin, it's holding strong on USD, and that's because the price of Bitcoin is going up and up and up. In fact, we may be looking at uh, testing an all-time high as early as today. Uh, we'll have to wait and see, though. So Bitcoin has been on quite a tear. I'll take you over here to the uh, BTC versus USD. You can see that this is a potential indicator, again, that money has been entering the market. People are buying Bitcoins. What do they do with those Bitcoins? Well, it usually will filter down into altcoins and things like that. That makes a lot of sense, right? Because if we go over here and we look at the Polonex and you're looking at what's been going on, it's a beautiful day of green. We get a lot of green days um, in, this, in this wonderful economy of cryptocurrencies. Um, and this is one of those beautiful days where pretty much you have made a lot of money on something um, hopefully <laughs> today uh, if you're in the game you likely made money um, anyone who's been holding Digibyte 
um, over the last week or even the last 24 hours. Congratulations. It's been quite the ride. Uh, it's been very fun and exciting. You can see here, this is just the last two days. That way it has gone from about 800 uh, Satoshis all the way up to 26 it hit in the middle of the night, all time high. Um, I rode it pretty hard. Uh, up to about 2,000 myself and left and exited the position and I felt smart for doing so because it you know it came it came down quite a bit after I did that um, and that was right here uh, and then it consolidated and I felt like oh okay it's gonna finally consolidate for a while uh, this thing is a beast I don't know where this thing is headed but it's getting a little out of control um, but Ripple was out of control and still is. So I don't know if this is really going to the moon. Is this the next uh, ripple? Um, I literally believe that people are exiting ripple to get in on this one now. Like, it's addicting. It's a drug. Uh, I don't know how long it can last for people, but it's it's impressive. Uh, the buy order side is con uh, constantly surprising me, and uh, it's really interesting. All that being said, uh, all the hype, if you're curious, why is there so much hype? Well, there was this announcement a while back that um, Microsoft was going to essentially uh, incorporate it or, you know, to Minecraft, um, the video game. So that kind of got everyone really excited. But um, the recent run is because uh, it's been confirmed that they have meetings uh, with very large organizations, one of them being Facebook. Um... I do not believe under any, under any circumstance that that is a potential one-to-one -one they're going to work with Facebook. I don't believe that. What I do believe is that Facebook, um, for many people around the world, is the only... F it's their video game platform. Casual gamers, right? Um, a lot of people use it to play their games. And I, I can see Digibyte being the currency of those games and an ecosystem being built out and this currency actually being used. If that news were to break, uh, something like that, that is exponential return still on Digibyte. Um, I don't know enough about Digibyte to really advise anyone to buy into it. I only can look at technical analysis. Um, I can look at uh, when the market's going to move up and down. But uh, I'm not going to tell you what you should do, um, but if, if, if you're willing to go for a wild ride, uh, put in what you're willing to completely lose. I will say at this point, I do, I do not believe um, that it's a, it's a scam coin. Um, it, could it be a pump and dump right now? Um, yeah, could be. Uh, maybe the guy who set up the meeting just has a friend at Facebook, right? It's not like they're going to go talk to Zuckerberg, so... I'll uh, keep that in mind, guys. Um, so that's kind of where we're at with the market update. I just kind of wanted to touch base with you guys. Uh, I'll be bringing you some news today, as always. Um, but hopefully this gives you an update of where we're at as a market. Um, again, Digibyte's top leader right now. Um, just killing it. But if as long as you own something, you probably have done pretty well in the last 48 hours. Um but as always, guys, make sure you um, have exit strategies, uh, you're diversified, play the market safe, and continue to practice um, with your Bitcoin calculations in your head. Make sure you're pegging everything against Bitcoin, because all we're trying to do in this space when you're, if, uh, you know, don't day trade, but you can learn the technicals, the long-term movements, and understand that you can make some wise single trades along the way, and what you'll find is um, you'll you'll get more Bitcoin um, over time. You know we're trying to find the currency that's moving the fastest in value, um, and uh, and that's that's really it. All right. So that's what we do. If you're if you're a true believer in cryptocurrency, this is your currency, and you want to increase your wealth um, and that's how you do it so as always guys make sure you guys are locking in some of your gains um, and if you guys want my last quick tip for you um, if you made a bunch of money on something and you get uncomfortable just just take out what you put into it and let it ride uh, this this whole entire ecosystem is a giant rocket ship 
just because you are on a rocket ship for one day or a week on a single coin uh, doesn't mean that the other coins aren't going to eventually catch up. Um, this whole entire thing is ridiculous and awesome. So it's a great space to be in. Just just uh, be careful with what you do. So, all right, guys. I am the King of Dew. May the Force be with you. I will be back uh, with some news today. Um, I should have a few videos, hopefully. I'm hoping to ha launch a few videos for you guys today because um, i got to make up for it. You guys, you, I owe it to you guys for taking yesterday off, so i got to work twice as hard today for you. So um, really appreciate you guys stopping by. Subscribe, like, share, comment, steam it, all those things. Thank you. Really appreciate it. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.